So I'm glad to uh, discuss the uh, kinetic and chemical equilibration of quad long plasma at zero and uh, finite density. I'm uh, currently a postdoc in collaboration with Soros Drifting at uh, Bielefeld University. So this is what we uh, we have done recently. And in the re uh, relativistic heavy-ion collisions, we start from uh, uh, initial collision where all particles are highly off-thermal and the system is more or less gluon saturated. And eventually it evolved into a hydrodynamic regime that all the particles are more or less thermal. And in principle, there's all, uh, both gluon and quark degrees of freedom. So um, in order to have a, a transition between uh, these two different features uh, between the initial collision and the hydrodynamic region, uh, we tend to uh, investigate the pre-equilibrium quark gluon plasma and focusing on two uh, kind of two kinds of equilibration. One is the thermal equilibration or kinetic equilibration. The other one is the chemical equilibration, which tells us how the quarks are actually produced from this uh, uh, gluon dominated system. And in order to uh, uh, investigate this uh, out of equilibrium quark gluon plasma, we adopt uh, effective kinetic theory, which is based on the uh, paper by Arnold Moore and Yafa, uh, which is a, this is a um, kinetic theory at a leading order QCD calculation. So um, in this um, uh, theoretical framework, we explicitly solve the Boltzmann equation, which is an uh, integral differential equation. And for all the massless gluon and all the three uh, light quarks and anti-quarks. And this uh, effective kinetic theory include uh, both the 2 to 2 elastic process, which accounts for the uh, color screening from those stability mass, which is fit to the uh, Hartzler model calculation, and also the uh, 1 to 2 inelastic processes. And in the 1 to 2 in inelastic process, we uh, use the collinear radiation, including the LPM effect via uh, uh, effective vertex resummation. So uh, let's see. Uh, Let's first investigate the uh, kinetic and the chemical equilibration without the longitudinal expansion. So this is a, uh, in principle a little simpler uh, case that uh, we can uh, investigate the scales uh, from the um, radiation and elastic collisions. And we focus on the uh, turbulent nature of the quark gluon plasma. So um, before I jump into the uh, results, I will uh, uh, have a little sketch of the uh, weak coupling thermalization uh, pattern. So uh, when we talk about the weak coupling thermalization, people usually talk about the uh, two different, two distinct uh, systems far from equilibrium. One is called the uh, over-occupied system, where, where the separation of scale is that the initial momentum is much smaller than the temperature. So that uh, gluons are dominated at a very soft scale. Uh, because of the Fermi statistics, so the quarks cannot be uh, dominated uh, over, over popular, over occupied and, and subscale, so only gluon. So in this sense, um, once the gluon uh, tend to uh, equilibrate uh, until the equilibrium uh, distribution, we can see that the gluon uh, need, need, need to transfer energy from soft scale to hard scale. And during this uh, equilibration process, we have we have a self-similar direct energy cascade, which is the kind of turbulent nature of this um, over-occupied system. Uh, the other uh, commonly discussed uh, far from equilibrium system is the uh, under-occupied plasma, which is in the, sort of in the opposite way uh, compared to the over-occupied system, that we have larger initial momenta compared to the temperature and we can sort of see this in the, this cartoon that we have a particle. It can be either gluon or quark uh, at very high scale. And the energy should uh, be transferred to soft scale in order to make it thermalized. So this process is called uh, inverse energy cascade. So uh, what is so important about those uh, feature uh, about those two um, systems is that the uh, overall occupied system is uh, in some sense, similar to the uh, initial stage of the uh, of the in the heavy ion collision, while the under occupied plasma is very similar to the uh, mini jet or jet evolution in the uh, heavy ion collision. So let's first 
uh, investigated the overoccupied plasma. So here I show the um, distribution, that's the spectrum of uh, gluon and quark for overoccupied system. So we can clearly see that we start from this red line, the overoccupied gluon, and then gradually change and gradually change until the, uh, it, it reached the thermal distribution. And uh, from this spectrum, we, we see that there's a self-similar turbulent fall of this spectrum where uh, we have such a um, universal scaling function. So by uh, rescaling the uh, momenta and the, uh, and the distribution function, we can see that the, at some certain range of the uh, evolution, uh, this uh, spectrum of the gluon can perfectly uh, have uh, such a universal scaling function. And the exponents in this uh, scaling function is actually uh, evaluated from the pure young Mills plasma. So there's only uh, gluon, but because uh, the, in this system, the, the gluon is actually dominated in the, uh, during this equilibration. So we see this scaling of the self-similar turbulence from scaling commission also works for this for QCD uh, calculation. And the quarks are actually produced by uh, the gluon fusion and uh, splitting. So the quark spectrum is sort of following this gluon spectrum. And aside from the uh, spectrum, we can also uh, investigate the uh, self-similar scaling uh, compactly uh, by looking at several uh, scales like the average momenta, the effective temperature, or the divide mass. So here I show uh, a few scale evolutions of the system, uh, starting from a very soft scale to a slightly higher scale and uh, uh, starting from a weakly coupled system to a stronger coupled system. And because of this um, um, power law spectrum, we can also estimate the um, power law evolution of these scales. We can see this uh, in all these uh, cases, those uh, scales following this power law. And so, 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 so we can, again, claim that this self-similar scaling is not, uh, the power law evolution is not limited to the uh, pure young mirrors. And uh, even more, it's even work for the uh, stronger coupling systems. And of course, those are uh, basically the uh, discussion of the uh, kinetic equilibration. Uh, we should also be um, interested in the interest in the chemical equilibration. So here I show the uh, energy density uh, evolution of gluon and quark and normalized by their equilibrium value. So eventually they reach one here. So we can see this um, energy density of the gluon is actually transferred to energy, energy density of the quark, which means the uh, trans also tra transfer of the energy and also transfer of the uh, degrees of freedom. So basically, um, from here, uh, from this point, this is roughly uh, the point that the chemistry is off. So we can claim this is roughly the point there uh, where the system reaches the chemical equilibration. So this chemical equilibration is um, at the same time scale as the kinetic equilibration, but slightly later than the kinetic equilibration. And here's uh, also, uh, we, we, we plot this figure um, in a scale of equilibration, uh, equilibration relaxation time, which is uh, characterizing the uh, kinetic equilibration. It's also uh, discussing Zorin's talk. Okay, now let's move on to underoccupied plasma. So, so we have seen the um, turbulent nature of the uh, over. So, 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 if, so so if the overall, if the turbulent nature of the overoccupied over system is beautiful, I would call this turbulent nature of the underoccupied system is actually fantastic. So here I again show the uh, spectral evolution of um, underoccupied uh, underoccupied plasma with uh, initially a gluon jet, a mini jet, reached at a very hot scale here. So uh, the gluon actually um, first it emit uh, soft quarks and gluon to very soft scale here. 
And following the, by that, there's a radiative breakup by multi success, uh, multiple successive branches. So here's a cartoon of uh, this process, which build up the soft thermal bus from soft scale to slightly the uh, higher scale. And also the um, final, the, 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 uh, the mini jet have uh, energy loss that it uh, eventually reaches the thermal equilibrium. So during this evolution, we can um, see from the spectrum that the spectrum in the lock lock plot is actually a negative, uh, is actually a negative uh, straight line, which means the spectrum follows uh, power law. And this power law is a common graph, the Harov spectrum, which is very similar, uh, but that's essentially the same as a, a classical uh, turbulence uh, common graph spectrum, where the usually we, we, we the, the classical uh, turbulent have uh, have an exponent of negative five third, while in this uh, QCD system we have exponent of uh, seven uh, over two for the gluon, which is from the uh, uh, radiation uh, contribution. And also for the quark, it's slightly different, uh, uh, but, but similarly, um, the power law spectrum, the, the, the exponent is uh, varying from uh, five over two to uh, seven, seven over two. And this, um, this whole process of the uh, equilibration we can see uh, is uh, building up the spectrum from soft scale to higher scale and uh, I mean gradually uh, reaching the equilibrium. And this is the uh, infamous button up thermalization. And we can also look at the um, uh, quark jet. So, so in, in gluon jet, we, uh, we actually produce quark and anti quark in pairs. So um, with only a quark jet, we sort of look at the uh, system uh, at a finite density. So we start with a uh, mini, uh, quark mini jet at a uh, uh, hard scale. And uh, still we can look at this uh, uh, spectrum functions we see there's uh, clearly the, the button up thermalization that the spectrums uh, actually building up uh, from soft scales uh, gradually to uh, harder scales. And the common growth, the growth spectrum uh, for the quark still uh, following this uh, change from uh, five over two to uh, seven over two. And for the gluon, it's uh, steady as seven over two. And the quark is sort of secondary production because you have to first produce the gluon, then you can produce the antiquark in the system. So the, uh, it roughly following the uh, gluon spectrum for this uh, Zaharov spectrum. And uh, one thing very uh, good about our simulation is that, I mean, this is the same pattern as for the uh, immediate mini jet, jet evolution. And, but in our calculation, it's a unified description of both the uh, soft and the hot sectors, uh, which means we, uh, in, we, within our simulation, we can actually investigate uh, not just the energy loss of the uh, jet, but we can also look at the equilibration of the jet and also the uh, heat, heating up of the jet. So in, in such a way that it's uh, self-consistently. Okay, then, that, uh, then let's move on to the uh, uh, discussion with Langzino expansion. So this this is kind of the discussion more related with the um, uh, hydrodynamic uh, sector. So uh, <coughs> we start with uh, a highly anisotropic uh, system initialized with the uh, CGC inspired uh, inspired gluon distribution and a finite charge density. So here um, the first order hydrodynamic um, constitutive, constitutive relation tells us that uh, the uh, near equilibrium we have uh, the non-zero pressure of the energy uh, in this kind of formula. And um, at finite density, we, we, we cannot call this uh, this entropy, but so, so it's not either of S, but uh, this thing we uh, usually still uh, consider it uh, to be a, a constant. So, and um, and we can see this is the uh, pressure over energy figure I have compared with the viscous hydrodynamic asymptotic form. And we have, uh, I, 
here I use uh, different uh, chemical potential over temperature as an indicator of different uh, uh, amount of density of this um, uh, system. So starting from zero density, which means the even number of even number of uh, quark and antiquark, and with uh, until the uh, large number, uh, large large chemical potential that uh, the the quark number is much larger than the antiquark number. So we see that. Uh, the building up of the uh, isotropization of the system is actually um, quicker for uh, smaller chemical potential and slower for this larger chemical potential. So one explanation of, uh, of this is that the larger chemical uh, potential eventually have um, larger fraction of quarks and the larger fraction of quarks, I mean, the, the quark in the interaction will slower this isotropization. So there are a few uh, very simple argument of this in effectiveness of the uh, quark interaction. So, so, so first it, it has smaller color factor and it's the spin degeneracy also gives a smaller degeneracy factor. And also because of the quantum statistics that the Fermi's uh, blocking will sort of suppress the uh, quark interaction and involved. But overall we see a, uh, uh, so, sort of universal uh, building up of the isotropization between uh, different uh, uh, chemical potential. And this, this, con uh, th this first order hydrodynamic considerable relation is working on the near equilibrium case. And the, uh, our calculation provided by the uh, kinetic theory is sort of uh, providing us uh, effective constitutive relation uh, which also works for uh, far from equilibrium case. And um, aside from this um, um, longitudinal pressure over energy figure, we can also uh, intuitively in inspect the um, buildup of the isotropization of the system and how, uh, how this ineffectiveness of the quark uh, influence this isotropization process. So here I uh, provide the uh, distribution, 2D distribution in the uh, transverse momentum and longitudinal uh, momentum for uh, gluon, quark, and antiquark, and also uh, strenuous. Um, so we're starting from uh, a highly anisotropic uh, distribution with gluon uh, dominating system that we have a very small. Uh, chemical potential, and we have so we have uh, sort of uh, some fraction of quark, and even fractions of um, anti-quark. And once the uh, system evolves, we can see that um, it become more and more isotropic. And if we compare the um, distribution between the gluon and the quark anti-quark, we can see that uh, gluon actually isotropic. Uh, faster and quarks actually isotropy much smaller, much smaller compared with the gluon. And also uh, the system eventually isotropy, um, no, 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 sorry, there, there's, a, there's, a, uh, there's, a, there's a mistake. So this system actually reach, reach the uh, uh, validated reach, uh, range of this um, uh, hydrodynamics the roughly two two times of kinetic equilibration time, but uh, actually the uh, the isotrop isotropization uh, fully of uh, isotropization time is much longer. It's actually uh, much longer than the than, than the figure I provided here. And we can also inspect the um, energy attractor. So uh, we define this energy attractor uh, in this form that um, the, the 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 time to the uh, full third times the energy and normalized by their equilibrium value. And eventually um, uh, this energy attractor will starting from, uh, from, from, from small number eventually reach uh, one at a very late time. So uh, although we, we see some sort of uh, discrepancy between different uh, uh, chemical potential systems, uh, the sort of have a universal or all universal attractor behavior of this uh, during this uh, equilibration. And also from the conservation laws and we can uh, connect the initial state to hydrodynamics. So here I 
provide this um, how this uh, scales is involved with time and from the conservation laws and we uh, which connect the uh, initial condition with uh, the scale at some certain time and also the uh, finite time. So one good thing about this is that uh, once we run this uh, this simulation for 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 one time for the uh, from this effective kinetic theory, we can fix those uh, parameters and the shape of the energy attractor, and we can easily uh, in, uh, evaluate the uh, higher dynamic value of these scales and provide a concrete input to the hydrodynamic simulations. And also, um, so 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 for talking about the realistic matching, we actually we can also look at uh, the time evolution for different species. So here is the energy fraction for uh, different kind of particles over their total uh, energies. So uh, we see that, uh, so this is for a small uh, chemical potential and we, we have gluon dominated initially and the gluon energy is transferred to the uh, energy for the quark and anti-quarks and also strangers. And because of the uh, finite chemical potential, we have um, larger amount of quark than the uh, anti-quark. And strangeness is, is uh, I mean, the chemical potential for strange, for, for strange quark is uh, kind of small and we, we just neglect it here. And, um, and in principle, we can also in, uh, evaluate the uh, chemical potential and also the uh, temperature of the system from London Mansion. Uh, the, but uh, with at uh, leading order, let's say the, let's say the uh, linear order, uh, we can have a very nice uh, analytic form for the uh, for this chemical potential of the temperature uh, like this. And from this, we can also uh, convert this to the uh, chemical potential for this uh, charge and pion number. And and near equilibrium, we can evaluate the uh, entropy production of the system. And uh, from this, we can um, just match the certain values of the charged particle multiplicity and the bio, net bion densities and fix the scales in, in our uh, evolution. So, so, so we, we are dealing with mass density, but we, we can fix this from uh, certain, for example, experimental members, experimental numbers from these scales. So this provides us a realistic matching to uh, hydrodynamics at finite density, especially at a lower energy heavy ion collision or uh, forward repetitive, where the uh, finite density is actually important. And also we see this uh, chemical equilibration actually um, occurs roughly at uh, twice of the kinetic equilibration, although it's uh, roughly the, the same, same time scale at the, as the kinetic equilibration. Okay, so, 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 so here, here's a summary of my talk. So uh, we investigate the turbulent nature of the quark one plasma. So uh, for overall occupied system, it, we see that the system follows a self-similar universal scaling. And this scaling is not limited to the, to the uh, pure young mirror theory, uh, but also to the uh, 4QCD simulation because the system is uh, gluon dominated. And we see this self-similar scaling is even working for the uh, slightly stronger coupling systems. And also for the under-occupied system, we show there's a, a bottom-up somalization. Uh, and we, we, we see the turbulent nature of this uh, under-occupied system that, that the spectrum is following the uh, common graph spectrum. And which means the radiation actually dominates the energy cascade in the, during this equilibration. And we also discussed the hydrodynamic attractor and zero and the finite charge density. Uh, so in the uh, discussion of the isotropization of the system, uh, isotropization and the equilibration of the system, we see the ineffectiveness of the crux and how this uh, ineffectiveness, uh, ineffectiveness uh, influence the uh, building up of the, uh, as, uh, the, of the of the longitudinal pressure. And uh, but overall, we we, we show a, a universal attractor towards the hydrodynamics. 
and we see the validation of the hydrodynamic is, is, is roughly the same, or let's say twice of the kinetic equilibration time, which is much, much smaller than the isotropic validation time, I think. I mean, this, um, this clearly also answers the question that uh, uh, with in previous talk by Soren there. And uh, uh, we, we can provide a realistic matching to hydrodynamics at uh, uh, finite density by fixing certain scales like entropy, bion density, or energy from our uh, simulation. And thank you for your attention. Yeah, thanks, uh, Yo Yang, for this nice set of new results that you discussed now. And we already have three questions in the chat box. So, Tribhuvan, would you like to ask the question directly? Okay. Uh, I can't, can't see the question. Can you? Can you, can you? Hello? Yes. Yeah, I can. Uh, Hello? Yeah, please go ahead. Both in over occupied and uh, under occupied system, is there mm -hmm. any time separation for the thermalization process for the equilibrium distribution? Sorry, what? what can, can I, can I say again. So, in, uh, in over occupied system, Initially, uh, the low momentum region was populated more. And then eventually it goes to equilibrium distribution. And the reverse thing happens in under occupied system. So is there any time scale separation uh, between both these systems? Uh, yes, there, there are, I mean, time scale uh, separation for, for, for different stages of the equilibration. Or so wh which one becomes means relatively faster, the under-occupied or over-occupied? Uh, that depends on the uh, separation of scales. So, so um, um, in principle, if you, if you have very hard scale of this, um, uh, let's say the mini jet, the equilibration time will be longer. So, um, so, 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 so I would expect that the, uh, over-occupied system, equilibration is slightly faster than the under-occupied system. I, I mean, especially if you have very hot scale, uh, have a very large separation of scale at, 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 at under-occupied system. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, next question is by Samapan. Samapan, would you like to ask directly? Please unmute yourself. So, so how can I see the chat section? Maybe I can just look at the chat section. You can click on your chat. I can read the question. So okay, okay. Samapan was asking, um, how can you describe uh, self-similar sc scaling arising in this situation? So he has heard about self-similar uh, nature in the fractal context. He wanted to ask what happens uh, in this Young Mills theory or the strongly coupled theories. Uh, Let me see. How does this cell similarity arise? Here? I think I can see this. Uh, uh, the, uh, sir, so, so, there, so, is upper, there is upper line called chart. There is a for do you have shared a screen? Since you shared the screen, your chart box will be on your top. There will be some options. Yes, yes. So so if it is possible, can you describe how self-similar scaling arise here, right? Yes, that's yeah. the question. Okay, okay, okay. So 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 this is uh, so this is the, the, the turbulent nature of this um, of of this uh, uh, this uh, uh, so turbulent nature of this um, uh, equilibration and you can you can do a, a dimension analysis of the uh, radiation. Uh, contributions and uh, sort of estimate the uh, exponents from this dimension analysis. So, so this is basically from from the from from the radiation process. Yeah, one one way to see it is that there, since there are nonlinearities in Yang-Mills dynamics, for example, 
uh, two to one gluon recombination. If you have an over-occupied system, these can then populate higher modes uh, through gluon fusion. Um, and in, in this process, they, they cause this cascade-like reaction. It's, yes, it's similar to, to vortices splitting into two vortices, but now uh, two gluons fuse to a higher momentum mode. And it's basically the same process repeating itself over and over again. So that's why, that's why it's self similar. So after the yeah. first fusion, you still have to fuse more and more, and that's. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the comment. Yeah, Mike, please go ahead with the question. Okay, so very interesting. Uh, okay. So my question is that um, when you introduce a finite chemical potential into the system and you're looking for attractors, it is, is it obvious that the scaling should just be with the temperature? Um, can't there be a, um, a dependence on the chemi uh, chemical potential and the relaxation time? Okay, so, so, so here our uh, effective temperature is calculated that uh, it's related with the uh, with a total uh, energy density, so 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 so, so in principle, it's related with uh, uh, chemical potential. It also depends on how you uh, really define this uh, effective temperature. Yeah. So to c c can I comment on that? Okay. Yeah. Also. Yeah. So it's. So, 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 so in principle, it's it's kind of on this slide here where there's this eta T effective, right? And so, so T effective here is the fourth is essentially the fourth root of the energy density. So that depends on the temperature. Now, in principle, this this eta T over e plus p, right, with the T as I, as defined as as such, right? In principle, this can still depend on the on the on the chemical potential. Yeah. Um, but uh, I mean, at least for the range that we studied, this this didn't really didn't really show a strong dependence, okay, when we extracted it. So it okay. seems that the dominant, I mean, the dominant effect is captured by scaling with energy density, at least in the regime where we looked. Okay, thank you. Yeah. 